<laughs> Hi, Pinky Dog. It's Friday. Yay. Happy PCIF. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great to be with you today. Oh, my goodness. We're super excited. We've got another fun craft uh, that's dog inspired, of course, as always. Um, the best crafts are <laughs> the best crafters are in uh into all the dog themed stuff so um anyway my name is patty quinn i'm here with the lovely and talented uh super talented hillary buholtz hello everyone <laughs> and we are the co-founders of we heart hounds um and there go the dog themed crafts for today <laughs> funny how that works um we are i know it's almost labor day um tomorrow with Labor Day weekend begins. Um, hope everybody has a great one. Um, but we're super excited for Halloween and trick or treating. <laughs> so We can't wait to get our pubs and costumes and the kids out gathering candy and just the, the fall weather is just kind of the cooler temps have kind of inspired us to do something fun for Halloween. Um, and we have decided to create a wreath for for Halloween. So this is what we're going to do today. It should be a lot of fun. As you can see, we kind of got it started because it takes a, a little bit of thought to kind of figure out what you want to do and kind of the layout process. But the first thing you're going to do is grab a um, grapevine wreath. And mine's a little bit smaller. Mine's like a 12 inch, I think, size. And Hillary, what do you have? Like maybe 18 inch? Yeah, something yeah. like that. 24 inch maybe? Yeah. So yeah, so any size, the size doesn't matter. You could even make this feel really small if you're really into min miniature kind of things or smaller decorations, that's fine too. And then I'll show you how to do this really fun technique. And this is all fabrics. And as you can see, um, we've got some with little dog bones on them and some with little paw prints on them. And then just some polka dots. These are really cute for the orange and black uh, themed. Oh, look at, yeah, I love the, so the pumpkin. Have some little pumpkins and some plaids. Yeah. And then some paws here. Yeah, I think your paw prints are a little little bigger than mine. I found Ooh. this one last night and I was like, oh, that's even bigger. Oh, <laughs> that's, well, that's great. great. Yeah, I love it. And then I've got the little dog bones, which is great. Those are adorable. Too, so yeah. So these are great. And then I've got a little gingham check. So you can just grab as many fabrics as you want. Of course, dog themed fabrics are kind of what we're going for, but they all don't have to be right. You can pick plaids and checks and, and polka dots too. Um, so just kind of looking for blacks and oranges in terms of the color fabrics that you're going to do. And then um, I'm sorry, I, I got distracted. I'm seeing everybody come on. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to have you here with us today. So then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take your pinking shears. Those are those crazy zigzag scissors. And then um, you're going to want to cut like eight to 10 inch strips of your fabric. Um, and don't have to measure whatever width you want. I mean, I just kind of went with about an inch and a half to two inches, but some are thinner, some are longer, but roughly about um, eight inches to 10 inches. And then what we're going to do. And I kind of, oh, yeah. Uh, I kind of varied. I have some that are longer and mm -hmm. some that are shorter. And I think that works well as you're kind of layering them in. So yeah. if you kind of vary the lengths, that'll help. And even widths as well. So. Right. I, yeah. Thanks for that. I sometimes I get nervous and I just keep chatterboxing away. So thanks for <laughs> that tip there. Um, one of the other things too is um you know you're going to be scrunching all these up together and they are going to get different sizes even mm -hmm. as you put them on and you can go back and cut lengths yes. too so if there are some that are too long you can trim it like a haircut so it, yep. it really doesn't matter there's really no nothing wrong uh when you're doing this and so really what you're going to do is take your strip and we're just going to tie a knot just a simple knot and the the trick to if there is one to making the knot is just make sure that both sides of the the right side of the fabric are facing each other like a little bow tie or a little bow in your hair and that's really it that's the hardest part of all of this so just tying all of your fabric strips into little knots and just have all the fabric so that so that you can see the pretty design now some of them like i've got a gingham here it's the same on both sides so you don't have to worry about that yeah but just get yourself a pile of these goody little bow ties and then we're just going to start gluing them on you get your hot glue gun 
and then just basically you're wanting to cover about a quarter of the um show how i'm just gluing this on in place and you can kind of move them you know back and forth you know place them really randomly wherever you want the idea is just to kind of keep them scrunched up and bunched up together And you can also kind of glue, if you're trying to, you know, have them lay a particular way, things like that, you can glue some of these ends so that they're overlapping other ones mm -hmm. as well. So they don't, they can, most of them can be loose, but if you find a few that you want to kind of move around in a certain area, you can kind of glue those down, your ends down as well. Right, yeah, exactly. So you can, you can just, really anything goes. Yeah. which is really nice, um, makes it really fun because you really can't make any kind of a mistake. Yep, and I think just alternating, so you're kind of mm -hmm. picking, I would say cutting out your strips and tying your knots first, so you have a whole big pile of your strips and knots, and not doing just one color at a time, but just kind of picking from that pile yeah. randomly makes right. it a little easier to make mm -hmm. it feel like a cut mine's a little longer than I want it to be. Um, what I ended up doing is uh, because the orange that I got is really bright um, and I didn't want to overwhelm it with with orange. I just wanted to have little pops of this bright orange color in here. Um, I ended up putting I started with the two black fabrics. And mm -hmm. then I started poking some of the orange in so that it was kind of mixed up. Now I kind of do them all, right? As I go, I can do orange and black and whatever. But when I started, I just really wanted that solid base kind of color mm -hmm. so that then I can, but it doesn't matter. You can, you can put them in randomly, whichever way you like. And again, you're just kind of trying to cover I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna, I'm kind of done for now. I might go back and add a few more which is also really nice you can do, but just cover about a quarter, you know, of the size of the, of your wreath. It'll probably hang something like that, okay? And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a ribbon. We've got this, oh, he's just, Hillary's got a really gorgeous ribbon, but I found a, a fun burlap dog themed ribbon. And we're gonna wrap it around. the rest of the wreath and then we'll glue it in place. Let's see if I can get my headphone cord wrapped around <laughs> as well. Yeah, we're looking to wrap ribbons, not head cords. Yep. <laughs> Oh. All right, and it doesn't have to be real tight. Um, we just want kind of fun little decorative element around the rest of the wreath. And as you can see, I'm kind of spacing it out as I go. And I've got some of these little grapevine things. I kind of want them sticking out. Mm -hmm just to make it a little more fun. And and you, can, you can kind of place it and then readjust yeah. it as you need to. Right, right. Weave one in here. Okay. I'm just adjusting it here a little bit. And it's basically just going under your little uh, fabric cluster and tucking that under so that so that your fabric still sticks out on top. And then I'm just gonna glue that down. Place. 
Super easy so far, really just not a lot. Yeah, I think the none of it is difficult. The The most time consuming part is probably cutting out your little strips, but that's, you know, you can kind of do them in layers and mm -hmm. that's. Well, and there's, you know, there's no really, you don't have to think too much, but you don't have to measure, you don't have to count. I mean, really yeah. just make as many bows as you want. You can always come back and add more and make it fuller, um, all of that good stuff. So here, this is what I've got so far. Cute. Coming along, yeah. Just waiting for some of the glue to dry. Come back in another blob here. Do we have folks that like to have wreaths on their door? Who has a wreath on their front door? This would be so cute. Or you could put it above your fireplace, right? Or on a back porch or front porch on the wall. Yeah, we usually do Christmas, but this is the first time for a different holiday for me. So yeah, I've I'd love to. Here. I'd love to see some examples of what <laughs> other people are putting on their doors. Exactly. All right. This could be done as is, but we're going to keep going. <laughs> we are going to keep going. More is more on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this could be is if this is all you want, this could be you could be done just like this. But we're going to add some embellishments, which will add a lot of character and fun to this. I think It'd be really cute. All right. So got a couple of things, a couple of ideas. So you can do like flowers. If you've got some soap flowers, just got these at the dollar store, Dollar Tree. So for a dollar, you got a nice little cluster. We could add a couple of those. I've got some, oh, and you've got those adorable pumpkins. I've got these cute little pumpkins that are kind of a fun. Those are really cool. Line. Like and a was, raffia, is that yep. what it's? Huh? Yeah, yeah, really sweet. And then they've got little branches as they're that goes perfect here. with the burlap, yeah, and mm -hmm. the fabric. Kind mm -hmm. of a rustic. My little burlapy flowers. I like those. Those are sweet. To kind of keep Again, it the just, same theme. Yeah, and I've got some orange burlap uh, fabric as well that I'm gonna have cut into little squares, and then I might add those in here as well. Just kind of tuck them up into like a little, a little, like a little okay. handkerchief, like you'd yeah. put in your pocket, you know, and then just tuck those in in places just to add a little um, rustic character. And then I might add my little doggy <laughs> pan. <Ooh>, yeah. <laughs> on top. <laughs> so Aww. here's, here's the one that I found at the dollar, at Dollar yeah. Tree. And that's adorable. It's pretty large. So I'm not going to put it right on my, uh, kind of bow area, but I'm going to yeah. try to hang it with a little bit of ribbon with oh, little bob prints on yeah, it. Yeah, so. that's so sweet. Are Let's you going to cut the rope off? Yeah, so I am. The print? That'll be yep. good. Yeah, that yep. way it won't distract from the rest of the wreath. Yeah. Um, that'll be sweet. Okay, cool. Well, this, I'm, let's see, I'm going to probably add, I'm going to kind of just place these here and see what, what it looks like. Uh, Probably what you want to do is add your largest element first, and then you can kind of play around uh, with what else you're going to add on there. It's cute like that. I'm going to add a couple of flowers. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll add some flowers. Maybe, maybe three, maybe three flowers and some burlap. Maybe that's what I'll do. Okay. I'm just tucking them in right at the base. And I'm just gluing my pumpkins in and then I'll Tuck in some flowers afterwards. Just 
These are cute. These are really sweet. I've seen some dog wreaths, um, but not for Halloween. So I just thought this would be a really fun idea. I'm gonna snip a little. And they're not super, uh, like, they still have some of that country rustic vibe to them. So yeah. they're not just uh, schools and whatever. So it's kind of a nice combo of both for I, I for love decorating it, yeah. your door. It's not so literal, like bats and spiders exactly. and ghosts and goblins and stuff like that. Not that is, there's anything wrong with those, but no. <laughs> But yeah, it's, but it is, it's, it's just different than what you typically see, which is nice. All right, so I'm just putting some of these little burlap pieces in again, just tucking them in just like, like they'd be little flowers or little embellishments. I'm just folding them up, kind of have a little point at the end, make it real easy to to glue. And I'm being pretty liberal. These pumpkins that I'm gluing on are really light, which is nice. So I think if you're looking for things to add in, making oh. sure that they're pretty light so that you mm -hmm. can you can glue them and feel mm -hmm. secure that while that door is going back and forth, they're not going to get heavy and fall off. Playing on the door. Playing on Somebody the door. knocks on the door and they fall off. Exactly. That, would be me. that would totally be me. <laughs> Here's my little pumpkin cluster. Oh, oh, that's so precious. And then I'm going to start really tucking in a few of those burlap flowers as well. That's so sweet. I had a toy. If you, if everybody saw the pictures that I was, um, I posted uh, before, I was going to add this little guy, little scarecrow guy. I love that one. So, it's so cute. cute. <laughs> yeah, both of our pups played with this little one, so it's just cute. But it was a little big. I, you know, the wreath that I bought, I wasn't really thinking. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> I wasn't thinking while I was at the store what size wreath I should get. But um, anyway, I thought this was really cute. Certainly would look really adorable on a size wreath that Hillary has, but um, decided not to use it. So ended up getting that other little doggy bone toy instead. So you can just go with the flow, whatever you've got on hand. You can tuck in there. Let's see, I might add another, another piece of burlap. If you're, if you have any doubt, usually things in threes are yeah. good. Um, look better than even numbered items. So if you're not sure when to, when to quit, because <laughs> sometimes things like that, this, you could just keep going and going. Um, usually just three of something in terms of like embellishments and stuff. Are a good three or five are good numbers to work with. Yeah, odd numbers work pretty well. And also mm -hmm. with the idea of sometimes it's hard to see it all come together as you're in the process of putting it in there. So like especially with the little cloth bows and stuff like that, those just, you know, keep on keep on adding, keep on kind of uh, layering different textures, different colors, that sort of thing. And you'll start to see it come together and hopefully yeah. get a feel for, okay, that's good. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> little strings of glue everywhere. Could make little spider, Halloween spider webs. <laughs> <with the gun. laughs> Let my little burlap piece sit down and make sure to get the sides of the wreath. So not just the top, but a little bit on the side um, so that you're covering. You really just don't want to see any of the grapevine wreath wherever you're um, putting your cluster of fabric and everything. 
think we're here's how far along are you? Are you getting pretty close? Yeah, here's my Late little weekend. combo. Oh, that's so pretty. And I have that's these really like kind ones. of darker burlap flowers as well, but I think I'm gonna stop here and that looks really sweet. And it'll look really cute when you have the paw print yep. from the center. That'll be adorable. That'll really make it pop. And then here's my Oh, that turned out adorable. Cluster here. I so love how the purple works with that too. Yeah, it's the it's only great. it's the only purple in in the wreath. Uh, but it, yeah, it really it really adds to the Halloween flair, I think, which is really nice. So adorable. I love it. <laughs> This was a lot of fun. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're inspired by our crafts. That's that's the whole idea is to really kind of connect with you in this way. We really enjoy spending our Fridays together um, and appreciate each and every one of you. Um, yeah, and, and if you if you end up making one of these, we would yeah. love to see them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Renee, thank you for making that sign and sharing your yeah, picture of the Buster sign. Oh my gosh. It turned out beautiful. Adorable. So sweet. And the idea to add photos so you can make it your own, right? So any of these crafts really are just to give you some inspiration and then just make it your own. You could hang a picture of your pup, you know, in here, make get one of those little frames and glue one on there if you wanted to. You could do anything, get a letter, your pup's initial. Um, so anything you want to just make it your own would be really fun. Really we thank beautiful. you so much, everybody. Really enjoyed our time today, as always. Hope you have a healthy, safe, happy Labor Day weekend. Enjoy time cooking out on the barbecue and having fun with family and friends. And, of course, our furry best friends, the most special of all. Um, and then if you want to stay in touch with us, yeah, if you want to stay in touch with us, you can. Uh, the best way to do it is to kind of join our mail list, our mailing mm -hmm. list, and we will have a link for how to join that in this post. And yeah, we also, in case you don't know or in case you haven't seen, we do have a giveaway going on right now for doggy travel items, which would be perfect for this weekend. But it would. It would. Yeah, we do have a, a giveaway going on, and that's at the very top of our We Heart Hounds page. You can find a link to that as well. Yeah, it's a fantastic travel bundle with all kinds of great goodies inside. So, yeah, sign up so that you have a chance to win it. I wish we could sign up to win yes. it. <laughs> it's, a <bundle laughs> it's a great one. <laughs> but we've got lots and lots of great feedback on it. So, fingers crossed. Hope you're a winner. Thank you so much again, everybody. Really, from the bottom of our heart, we just have so, so much fun with you and hope you do, too. Take good care. Thank you. Bye-bye.